First to remind you that the voltage measured across part of a circuit tells you about the energy delivered by the flowing charge by the current. If there's a potential difference of one volt, then one coulomb flowing through the component will deliver one joule of energy in one second. From this definition, it follows that the equation connecting energy and charge is that energy is equal to the quantity of charge flowing multiplied by the potential difference in volts. Remember also that the quantity of charge flowing is equal to the current flowing multiplied by the time. If we shove these equations together, we get the total energy in joules is equal to the current times the time, that's replacing the quantity of charge, multiplied by the potential difference in volts. Here in this simple series circuit, there is a current flowing through the resistor, a coil wrapped around the pencil. And the current on the left hand side is 0.50 amps and the potential difference at the top about 0 0.40. So if we wanted to calculate the amount of energy in one minute, one minute is 60 seconds. So it is current 0 0.5 times 60 times 0 0.4. 0 0.5 times 60 is 30, and then multiplied by 0 0.4 is 12. That's 12 joules. So let us look next at the power of this system. The power of an electrical machine, indeed any machine, is about how quickly it can do work, how quickly it could convert energy from one form into another. In the case of this resistor, from electrical energy to heat. That definition gives us the equation that the amount of energy converted divided by the time taken is power, that is the rate of doing work. So power is energy divided by time. Now, remember that the energy of an electrical system is current times time times voltage. So if we simply divide both sides of this equation by time, we have power on the left equals current times voltage on the right. Power, remember, is measured in watts. Joules are the standard units in science for energy, but in household and industrial machines which run at a high current, high voltage for a long time, that unit is too small. But although the unit for energy supply is changed, the main unit of power is still watts, although often expressed as kilowatts, that's a thousand watts. Using the original equation that energy is current times voltage times time, so current times voltage is power, remember. If that's expressed in kilowatts and time in hours, then we get a unit of energy of kilowatt hours. All mains, electrical machines and devices should have on them somewhere a label stating the power and the voltage on which they operate. From that, you can calculate the current that will run through it and perhaps more importantly, the cost of running it. Taking the first example, this vacuum cleaner. If it's run at 220 volts, then the power is 1100 watts. From power is current times voltage. The current, therefore, is power over voltage. If we divide those two, we scarcely need a calculator, but it's 5 amps. 1100 watts is 1.1 kilowatts. So in an hour, it will use 1.1 kilowatt hours. Supposing the cost of that unit of electricity was 20 cents or 20 pence, that would be 20 times 1.1, 22 pence or cents per hour. For the second and final example, we're using this diode lamp. It's 6 watts and 220 to 240 volts will take the average at 230. So starting again with power is current times voltage and rearranging, current is power divided by voltage, which is 6 divided by 230, which is 0 0.26 amps are required. Now let's estimate the cost of using this lamp for a year. So supposing it was used for six hours a day and that the cost of the electricity was 20 cents per kilowatt hour. The cost of running it then for a year would be six hours times 365 days multiplied by the 0 0.006 watts times 20, the 20 cents or 20 pence per hour. 
That would be a total of 263 cents for the whole year. Thank you for watching.